Number 13, at room temperature, the entropy of the halogens increase from I2 to Br2 to Cl2. And then we just have to explain. Okay, so entropy is increasing from I2 to Br2 to Cl2. That means that I2 has to be the smallest entropy, and Cl2, on the other hand, has to be the largest entropy. So let's just write that down. So on our trend, we have I2, which is less in entropy than Br2, which is less than entropy for Cl2. Okay. There's two rules to explain trends in entropy. Now, the first thing I see here is that they just literally said I2, Br2, and Cl2. So the one trend that we can use is our mass trend. Now, the case here is that the quick version is that if you have more mass, generally speaking, you should have more entropy. So let's see if this is the trend that's used. I would go on the periodic table to see what these values are. And let's see if it matches the trend. So I2, 126.9 times 2, this is 253.8 grams per mole. Br2 is 79.9 times 2, so 159. Uh-oh. I don't like this already. And Cl2, 35.45 times 2, is 70.9 grams per mole. Now, if we were following the mass reasoning behind here, more mass, more entropy. I2 should be the largest. The actual, the, the sign should be flipped if we were going by the mass. But we're not. We're going by something else, obviously, right? But what is it? Well, there's a trick here. If you're doing more mass and more entropy, this is only the case when all the states are the same. All the states are the same. And when we're talking about the states, I'm talking about solid, liquid, and gas, right? S, L, and G. But they did not tell me the states, so maybe that's where I have to go. When you have states, that's always the first thing that you look for. Then if all the states are the same, that's when you do the mass. So technically, if we're doing this on importance, the mass rule would come second, and the state rule would come first. So different states, different states, the rules apply that a solid always has less entropy than a liquid, which has less entropy than a gas. This is due to what they look like, you know, if we picture them in a container. Right, solids, they're so close together. So the randomness of molecules are not going to be great because they're so compact. Liquids, they're a little bit farther apart, right? So they have more freedom to roam around. But gases, they're all over the place, right? So they have the greatest, you know, randomness of bouncing all over the containers. This, this reasoning comes from your room temperature right, which is, which is basically like uh, 25 degrees Celsius, I believe. This comes from what you should know your diatomics as at room temperature. These are diatomics, I2, Br2, and Cl2. At room temp, iodine, since it's such a huge molecule, it's going to be a solid. Bromine is a little bit less, right, on atomic size. That's a liquid. And chlorine is a gas. And if we look at it on the periodic table, Cl, then bromine, then iodine, right? They're all halogens, but chlorine is on top, bromine is on the bottom, and then iodine is right below it. As you go down a period, as you go down a group, your radius increases. So all these kind of concepts are coming together. This is why it's like this. So we can say 
you know, going by the molar mass, this is not the reasoning. Mm -mm. But knowing the states is the reasonings. So I2 is a solid, bromine is a liquid, chlorine is a gas, and that's what triggers this increase in entropy. And there you go. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will be talking to you when I talk to you, right, in another lesson. Okay. Have a great day. Bye-bye.